You're so welcome to Let's Talk Entertainment here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky. Today we are doing it in grand style. We have lots, lots of stories for you right here on your favorite entertainment show on TV. My name is Becky. Settle in. I'll be right back with all the stories that you're interested in. If you just joined me, you are logged on to the Joy News channel. The show is Let's Talk Entertainment, where you get to hear all the stories that are happening in the world of entertainment. Today, we are talking to Gifty Yose, gospel musician Gifty Yose. She is 10 years in the music industry, yes, and she has been celebrating it in grand style. We've been speaking to her right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Let's listen to Gifty Yose. All right, she's 10 years in the music industry. I'm talking about the gospel music industry. Uh, she's called Gift to Your Say. She's right here to talk entertainment. 10 years in the music industry. Uh, what, 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 what can you tell us about your journey? Um, to God be the glory, great things he has done. I call my 10 years Ebenezer, how far God has brought me. It's not my might, it's not my power, but I think it's, it's, it's God who has brought me um, thus far. I just want to say thank you to those people who believed in me because coming into an industry you are you are you are naive in you don't know anybody you are not going to uh, um, have new friends um, new contacts and then some of them will reject you some will accept you uh, it wasn't easy but but through it all empress have made it to the 10 years well, well, can you recount some of the challenges you faced during this 10 years and and also moving forward well, after 10 years, what do you have for us? Yeah, I could remember when I came out um, uh, and then my producer was giving out my CV. Um, one thing that the one, I don't want to mention the person's name, he said, ah, this one too, wait, then bit me, what, what can, can she do? I mean, she, she's so young girl, I don't know what she can, she can even bring out. Please put, yeah, put the city down. I felt bad, so I cried and I told God that God, please, let people see that it is you that I'm working for. This song, it is you that you've given it to me, for me to sing it so your people will hear whatever you want them to know. And since that day I had that covenant with God, God has not disappointed me. And the way forward is Empress, five years, um, Empress will be um, a producer, that is, uh, we are going to launch Empress production very soon, so I'm going to bring out the upcoming artists who, who, who want to be like it, you say, who, 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 who love this, this industry and have passion. This work, if you don't have passion, you can't do it. And my prayer is, people that I will sign them on my record label, I pray may God use me um, for, for, for them also to shine. Yeah. Is it part of the rebranding that you're doing? Yes, yes, it's part of my rebranding. And you know, that's why Empress did. That is why I told you my name, Empress, is going far because I now have Empress Empire, Empress Ministry, and then Empress Production. So, so to God be the glory. What does the Empress Empire do? Empress Empire, we deal in shoes, we deal in clothes, um, perfumes, and and other things. And then um, Empress Ministry, it's it's about women and young men. Uh, we're coming together, we praying, uh, uh, we, we are preaching to them for them to know that in His own time, God will do it for them. So I have uh, the ministry also there. This year, we're going to do a women conference from the same ministry that is Empress Ministry. We're going to host a women conference called The Woman in Me. So very soon you hear from us here. Yeah. Well, I've seen that uh, celebrating your 10 years, you have a cake, uh, you know, which is going round. But do you have a song, though, apart from the cake that uh, we might probably not get yes, to eat? Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, this cake, I, I did it for Kamna Aiden. Yes, he's, he's one of the people who, who, who encouraged me, who told me, Empress, you can do.
do it. So I thought um, uh, if I'm 10 years, why not celebrate him? So this is for Pam Naidan. And then I have a song coming up um, that is from June. Um, I think it will come out and then October I will launch it. So it's, it's something cooking, you know. This is not, I'm, I'm not leading anything, I'm just cooking, you know. The song you're launching in, uh, when, when is that, is it? That is October. O October. Uh, is it on an album or is it just a single? No, it's a full, it's a full album. album. Yeah. Can you give us a favorite on the full album so that we can The new one. The new one. Right now. Ah, no, 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 no. No, it's a surprise, you know. I, 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 Personally, I, I, it's been a long time since I heard from you. I can't wait till October to hear a line of one song I think, I think on that June. album it's just, in June. Yes, it's just a month, so you just relax for me. I'm saying a line. I'm not saying you should sing the entire song. What I'm doing, so you just relax for me. It's a surprise. Your name even is in the song. So Are you, you just kidding relax. me? <laughs> all right, all right. If you if you're not going to give me a line of that song, that March and Spater song, why don't you give us the viewers a treat of songs that we already know? Something okay. that you think that people know you for 10 years on yes nya wa ya ma mi chaji wa si de wa si de nyo nya wa ya ma mi ja mi hunu bi da o nya mi kasi e asi da so nya wa ya ma mi mi du mi da so o nya mi kasi e asi da so well we like to congratulate you gift your say and we hope that that album will come out really soon Soon, and we can't wait to promote it right here for you on Let's Talk Entertainment. So let's move on and talk about Noella Wiala. She is advising Ghanaians to try and patronize musical shows. This is the only way out for the musicians here in Ghana. Patronize Ghanaian-made musical shows, pay for shows. This is coming from Noella. Of business is very difficult. Every artist will say this. People don't want to pay to watch us perform. They like everything free, free. A lot of people, not all. The people who don't want to pay, of course, are the adults, the people that are uh, like they appreciate art for art's sake. Uh, but you know, sometimes you see the crowd, a lot of people, but a lot of them haven't paid. They, they're expecting free tickets, but they also forget that we need to eat. So it's been, it's difficult. And every artist will tell you that. It doesn't matter if you are doing secular gospel or you are even popular or not popular. These are the challenges that we face. I think a lot of Ghanaians are here to appreciate uh, we musicians uh, doing music for music's sake and uh, to just realizing that maybe I should turn off my TV, take my family out, just go and watch Wiala or Efia or uh, Becca or Miss V or whoever, just to entertain us and um, learn some few things. Because some of us, we do traditional music and all that, but I don't know. Lots of people who just think, uh, <laughs> they're not sure if they should come out. So to pay. The problem here is paying to watch you perform is the problem. Okay. If only they can pay like when you go abroad, immediately they see your poster. The first thing they ask is how much is the ticket so that they can buy. Ghana here is like, oh, can I get a free? <laughs> <laughs> show for today i trust you had fun yes i did uh, always remember that it will be fine someday uh, the, the the pg people will say that it could be someday and so i am leaving you with dark suburbs it could be someday my name is becky join us same time tomorrow for even more thrilling edition of let's talk entertainment <laughs>
Yeah. 